What is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this video episode of 10 awesome features on Android Marshmallow. So we're gonna go into settings and confirm that we are running Android Marshmallow on the device. So if I scroll down to software info, you can see we are running Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow here. And we're gonna talk about the top 10 features that I think and bring big improvements to Android Marshmallow. So stay tuned. Number one, memory manager. So go into settings, locate your, wherever you find your storage within your device. This may vary from device to device, but let's see where it is here. I think it's in general on this device. Let's scroll down. Memory, where is memory? So memory. So right here, you can have your memory manager and you could see how the memory is going on your applications and other things here on Android Marshmallow. So that's number one. Number two is Android brings support for fingerprint scanners if you have one on your device. This device does not have a fingerprint scanner, but Android Marshmallow, if you do have a fingerprint scanner on your Android device, it brings support for all fingerprint scanners on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. This can be very useful for Nexus devices as well. Number three, USB Type-C slash 3.1 support. So USB 3.1 support and USB Type-C, which is basically a reversible connector that is the future of Android here. And we'll be using USB Type-C's to our laptops as well. So USB Type-C support for Android Marshmallow is number three. Number four, Android Doze. Now, Android Doze is basically a battery saving technique trick that Marshmallow does in the background, which basically when you turn your device off in standby, the Android Doze is effectively working. It shuts down processes that might be eating up battery. And this is why in the past, iOS always was a better option for battery life than Android because Android was using processes in the background. Android Marshmallow shuts those down and when you doze, your standby times on Android Marshmallow devices should be heavily increased. So that's number four on the list. And you do not have to enable anything to make this work, it automatically works. Number five on the list is Android Pay. So Android Pay now is available for all Marshmallow devices if you have an NFC chip. This device does not have an NFC chip but you know what, if you do have an NFC chip, Android Pay is more widespread now on all devices. And basically what this allows you to do is tap and pay at stores on the go with your credit or debit cards. Now, not all banks are supported yet, but most of your major banks should be supported. And this is just more widespread now and it competes better now with the Apple Pay, you know, feature on Apple iOS devices. Number six is improved copy and paste function. So if you're reading an article online or you're copying and pasting from anywhere, like for example, we're reading this iPhone 7 article, you go ahead and you wanna copy something. We don't wanna spoil the love affair or something like that. And you just wanna see right here, you do have copy and share functions right there. So you go right there, you can select all web search. And down here, it also gives you a little option to go ahead and look for other things that are contextually based with the thing that you're copy and pasting. So copy and paste functions are heavily improved here on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. Number seven, Google Chrome custom tab. So basically all this does is make links in your web browser Chrome quicker. So if you're like, you know, wanna switch in between apps, so we're in here in Twitter, right? So if we click this link right here, let's go to the, it's gonna open a Chrome custom tab. So if we click this link, you see how quickly it's just gonna open this up and it switches right back. And if we just go back, press the back button, we go right back to Twitter really simply. It's not like it has to open a whole number web page and render very long. It's just a more seamless switching in and out of links and apps and it's more mobile friendly for your browsing experience. A little bit better than WebView and previous versions. So that's number seven, Google Chrome custom tabs. Number eight, improved app permissions in settings. So let's go into general. And we go into apps and you can see there is better permission, you know, 
things that you can do within your Android Marshmallow update. So you can easily toggle what this application can access, the camera, the context, the microphones, phone, SMS, and it's very clean and simple to use. It brings more control over what the applications can access. So if you're more of a security, you know, you're a little bit afraid of letting apps access so many things, that can help you out quite a bit. So for example, it also will ask stuff of you when you download new apps. So I got Modern Combat here, working on a review on this device, and you can see, I'm gonna open this up, and you can see it asks, can you allow Combat 5 to access photos, media, and files on your device? And you go ahead and allow that, and or you can deny it. Basically, that's what Apple's been doing forever on the iPhone, but now we have it here on Android, and I would argue there's actually more customization to what your permissions can access. So that's number, what is that, eight on the list. Number nine on the list of awesome Android Marshmallow features is let's go into settings and we're gonna talk about storage is easier to manage. So storage updates, easier to manage. So going into storage in USB, you can see that we do have our typical stuff here where you can check you know, what kind of storage you have, internal storage. Now that is pretty much the same as it's been. But what's a really nice improvement, if we go into memory, you can see every six hours what memory is being used by the applications right here at every, you know, three hours, six hours, 12 hours, and one day. And it shows you everything that's being used. So the OS, 95 megabytes, and you can see down here, YouTube's using 17. So you can really go through and nitpick every single thing that is using your storage here on your Android device. You can also sort it by max usage cases here. So that is number nine on the list. Storage is much easier to manage on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. All right, guys, for the final one is smoother application experience going in between applications. So let's say you want to share this, you know, photo right here. We're gonna go to the share icon and you can see I have all these options. In the past on Android, if you tap what you wanna share, it would ask you another menu and maybe something else. But now, all you have to do is one tap and you can easily share or tweet this item. So basically, it's very easy to tap and share things now on Android. It's a smoother application experience on Android Marshmallow 6.0 and above. So that is my top 10 features of Android Marshmallow 6.0 dot one now that is only 10 there is many more but these are the 10 ones that i think are going to help you out quite a bit here and no i did not forget now on tap i just didn't want to include that because that is so common we all know what google now on tap is before we end this video let me just talk a little bit about now on tap so if we go into any place in the ui you can basically just hold down this icon right here and whatever it sees on the screen, it's gonna give you some contextual based information such as lunch salad, you know, recipes, whatever you write down or even for some pictures. So let's see right here, Galaxy S7. So if I hold down this, it's going to do some contextual based information, show you images. And also if somebody texts you something like, hey, you wanna go catch up for lunch on Saturday, it's gonna give you an option to set a reminder so you can set reminders. So I did not forget now on tap, but you know what, I think pretty much everybody knows that's like the number one feature on Android Marshmallow. So those are my 10 awesome features on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. If you have any awesome other features, please leave them down below in the, com in the comment section. You know, I would like to learn some more as well. I'm not perfect at this, so I'm still learning myself. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please click the like button for me. Share this with somebody who is interested in Android so we can all improve our experience on our Android devices. Be sure to be well. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to be well, and peace.